welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. Just pardon me for the background noise as well. I'm just writing and decided to answer all the questions I'll be receiving in my email and those under the Brenal review videos. I'm sorry it took this long to reply some of you all. So let's just start with the first question. So Emanuela Asare is actually asking if I was done with the program and their answer is no, I'm not done with the program. I just actually attended in 2021 August to December. So I think that is the fall section and I decided to transfer to another school. The next question she asked was about the program, like how is the program, the workload, and how I'm managing. And she asked, would you recommend this route? Most people will want to be um, advanced practitioners. So if that is your dream, I believe this may be the best route for you. The program is not perfect. And I will say every program might have a pros and a cons um, let's talk about the workload it can be overwhelming but remember it's kind of like accelerated since you are using um, just five semesters to study everything so it can be overwhelming but it's doable i believe if someone is able to do it then you should be able to do it too we mostly don't say it's hard we use the word challenging because it will be challenging, but you should be able to sail through. No nursing school is um, on the silver platter. So I think he, one will have to just psych their mind or be prepared to face whatever situation that may occur. Next question. How much did financial aid cover for you? And did they provide information on the banks available to loan you funds? So with this question, I'll say, um, yeah, you are going to get financial aid to cover because it's um, a graduate program. So if you haven't already used any graduate loans, you are going to get financial aid to cover. And financial aid actually cover um, 20000 I think $20,500 for the year you might not be able to get all the 60,000 from financial aid since you'll be using two years approximately but if you're unable to finish on time I think you may so it will depend on them you have to ask questions that is the mistake I did I didn't really ask a um, lot of questions I thought financial aid was gonna cover everything and based on that I have to um, drop out but I would just say some of the professors actually suggest some of this um, loans like the Salome loan so if you're unable to receive everything for tuition you can get loans too one thing I would say is try and ask a lot of questions because I will use the word hidden fees there are some hidden fees that you might not know of so try and ask a lot of questions so that you will be able to prepare yourself and you don't end up you know dropping out the next question are you able to work during the program um so they don't recommend you to work during this program because it's quite intensive but um i see people talk about doing part-time i don't know how they do it but they don't recommend let's move on with the next one what can i study now that will help prepare me for the classes to take in the spring so i think when you are beginning you'll be taking pharmacology health assessment um and some online classes i believe in fundamentals so you can just go on youtube and review anything that you see on fundamentals pharmacology with pharmacology all that i'll say is know the classes of the medication if you are able to get that ahead you'll be perfectly okay with pharmacology so you just know the classes or mostly people will tell you to rest <laughs> for the time that you are home so that when and the next one is uh, the, the, the best the tips to help election. prepare for the program so all i'll say is you have to be very organized 
with organization you'll be able to excel in the program you have to be ahead of your game too if you have assignments don't wait till last minute to do your assignment just be ahead of the game try and do your assignments very early so that you'll be able to study you actually use terrace books and you may be referred to study from different pages you know so it's quite um, difficult it wastes time to some extent because it's not straight away some of these professors you cannot use their PowerPoint you won't be able to focus on their PowerPoint to pass those classes you have to get outside resources maybe in terms of using YouTube or anything that will be helpful you should be able to also solve a lot of endless style questions because that's how the questions are um, formed in nursing school so you have to start practicing I think that is one thing that I'll tell you to start practicing before you go in so that you'll be able to figure out how to answer questions to be frank nursing school exam is different from um, the college we went the normal college exams nursing school exam actually you have to think critically and sometimes all the answers are right but then you have to choose the priority answer so you have to start working on that and again i'll just say that you should be there was another question about how many times you'll be on campus sometimes you'll be on campus twice and or thrice depending on the skills you have to perform or um lectures so it depends the last thing i may want to also chip in is if you are the type of person who is unable to write exam back to back um i don't think this will be the best for you or better still if you go and you are failing some of the courses please try and withhold those courses you have the chance to withhold even though you might not finish on um, the five terms it could be six or seven but it's better to finish than to fill the classes and get kicked out that will kind of be like you've wasted money you don't want to waste that um, tuition huge tuition you're paying so that is something i can also say and always remember that it's a brand new day let's go of the past and grab a new lens to life if someone is able to do it you should also be able to do it so let's just keep being positive kindly subscribe and like my channel thank you